what happened? Yes, yes. And um, it's normal as a farmer, I usually go to my farm. So I went to my farm along Boko Road, and um, on our way back, we started hearing some gunshots. Uh, we discovered people who were dressed in black. And from our experience, it was very clear that these are Fulani militia men, bandits. And I do not want to take things for granted because a few days ago, the media were washed with the communique or the statement from the Fulani uh, uh, Mayor Tiala, who met in uh, Yola, uh, that is where they met in 2006 and decided that they must take Nigeria as their country and every other person living here must be slave. That was why they started infiltrating the entire country. And they came out with a statement. I was uh, alarmed, singling me out as the only person who is creating problems for the entire Fulani race in this country. It was quite disturbing. And uh, behind the scene, I also heard in, that in the meeting, I was targeted for elimination. Uh, this was the information I got. And they will go after me, whether in my home or in my farm or wherever they get me. And this is not the first time. I had intelligence before that these people say they were going to kill my security aid and then capture me alive and give me gradual killing. But like I always say, my life is in the hands of God. It's not in the hands of any Fulani man or any body whatsoever. And I still remain firm. I will fight for truth, justice, equity, and fairness till when God permits that I should not be here again. Then I can go. But it's only God that can permit my exit in, on this earth. Not any Fulani man, I want to say it boldly. They have no right. They will continue to fail just like they did today. I appreciate the security personnel attached to me. They were able to repair them and uh, they could not have access to me. And thank God for my fitness to have run for more than one and a half kilometers without stopping. It means that uh, God has given me strength, and I'm grateful to God. And I want to say a quote from Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who said, If peace means keeping my mouth shut in the midst of injustice and evil, I don't want peace. If peace means willingness to be exploited, economically, dominated politically, humiliated and segregated, I don't want peace. Martin Luther King, Jr. This is what he said. And I stand with him. I'm not going to subject myself to intimidation of any one whatsoever. I don't have problems with any Fulani man or Fulani race. But I have problems with Fulani bandits 
who have vowed to take over Nigeria as their ancestral home. And I say no. Not when I'm here and when I am governor leading my state. I'm not concerned about other states. Other states who want to give their land and give their, themselves to be slaves to these Fulani men, I have no problem with them. But my own state, I have consulted with my people, and what I am doing is in line with the wish of my people. On that I stand. I have not infringed on anybody's right. My lawyer is here. He's going to extend a petition against the leadership of uh, Fulani Hellsmen, or whatever you call them, Meyati Allah. Because they came out to target me, and behind the scene, they have planned to eliminate me. And I'm seeing that on my own land. If I can't go to the farm as governor with the entire security around me, then who else can go to farm? You can imagine the pains that we have here in Benue State. Thank God for Mr. President who responded to my letter that anyone with AK-47 should be shot, shot at sight. I'm yet to see that. Let me see it happening in Benue State. I have reported this to the security agencies, and I hope that this will be done so that the land will be safe for our people to go back to farm and do their work and survive and live their life. Here in Benue State, we're not against Fulani men. We're not against Hausa, Igbo, any tribe, even white people. We are ready to provide land for ranching. That is what the law say. I don't know what this set of Fulani men who come from Niger, from Mali, from Chad, from Senegal, from uh, other parts of the world. They have destroyed Mali completely. Nothing is happening there. They have destroyed Libya. They have destroyed several African countries with their aggression and think that they will come here and destroy Nigeria. I don't know what they mean. We are not against Fulani people who legitimately want to do their business here, including Katu Riaden, but you must ranch. That is the law. And we are in a democratic era. And democracy is anchored on the rule of law. I don't know why people will come from somewhere and think that they will not obey the laws of the land. If everybody will take that, if all of us decide to be lawless, if all of us decide to take guns and go after people or our perceived enemies, there will be lawlessness. There will be anarchy. And who knows what will happen? I want to call on Mr. President. I want to call on the security agencies to fish these people out. They are in the forest between Makudi and Abinti. They are living there and they are coming out to commit atrocities, evil, rape women, kill our people, mayhem them, destroy our farmlands, and do all this. And anytime our lives of God go after them as security agencies go, they run back to the forest across the river. This is not fair. I'm going to make a petition against the leadership of Meyeti Allah because they are responsible for making arrangements to try to eliminate me. But I want to assure them that until God permits, they cannot. They cannot do that because I have not committed any crime. I have not done any evil against anyone throughout my more than 40 years political experience i have not injured anyone with a pin talk less of knife i have not done it because that is not the way to go in my pursuit for power i've always known that power belongs to god and he give it to whosoever he will and that is it so i don't know why uh, these people think wherever they are getting their distance. But up to today, I've been calling for the arrest of these people since 2017. And they are going about their normal business 
in Abuja, in Yola, in Kano, everywhere, without security men inviting them for questioning. And the worst thing that pains me is these people are protected by our Nigerian security men, our taxpayers' money, our security men that are inadequate because of the crisis caused by this Mayati Allah. And the police are still protecting them. What is the reason? Are we second class citizens? I'm not second class citizen to anyone in this country. I pay tax. Just like any other person. And I'm law abiding. And I hope that the security agencies will question these people. Why they should single me out in their EULA meeting. And behind the scene, giving orders for me to be eliminated. And I have seen the result today. If not for the security personnel that were with me, I don't know, maybe I would have been a story. So that is it, but I'm going to make a petition to the president and to the security agencies for the leadership of Mayor Taylor to be arrested. They have no right. What they are doing is not correct. And government must not fold its hands. I believe in the unity of this country, and I'm not against anyone. I'm not fighting anyone. But I'm fighting for the right of the people that elected me. I'm fighting for justice, equity, and fairness. And I cannot compromise that one. And the law prohibiting open grazing in Benue State can never be reviewed. We're not going to do that. I've consulted with my people, and my people say that it will never be reviewed on that we stand. Rather, if we are reviewing it, we are going to put more stringent condition attached to it. For instance, the payment of fine on heads of cattle that are arrested in Benway State. So, nobody should think about that.